Hey guys, this is Diane here from the Design Creative and I'm going to teach you how to make a sexy fixed sidebar for your site. Later on, I will be showing you how to make this shell of a website into a proper fully functioning site that is super responsive using free plugins we can find on the net. It really is easy and you're going to love it. Stay tuned. First, what we want to do is we want to start off with an empty grid and then move over to setup and make sure that this website is responsive. So we're going to enable the responsive grid. The next thing we're going to do is change our wrappers to fluid and change the grid to fluid as well. And now I'm going to add um, an alias. I'm going to call this sidebar. And next I'm going to add a header. I'm going to make sure that it stretches from left to right. And I'm going to add a navigation. Okay, I'm going to make sure that the orientation for this navigation is set to vertical. Next, I'm going to add a social media bar here as well. And uh, again, we want to make sure that it's centered and the orientation is horizontal. And let me just put in some dummy links in here. Okay, now that's all done. Let me just resize this a little bit. Make sure that these are stretching from left to right. Now I'm going to add another wrapper. Again, making sure that this is fluid and the grid is fluid. And in this wrapper, I'm going to add a pin board block. And this is the home page, but I'm going to make sure that I change this to a custom query. So then it can pull content from my blog posts. I'm going to save that now. Let's go and view the site, see what it looks like. As you can see, the social media icons are quite big, but everything else kind of looks roughly how I expect it to look. So I'm going to change the social icons to be a bit smaller. You can do that by scrolling back to social icons, selecting the box, and go to general, and use SVG, and I'm just going to put in a random number here, 24. And that should make the icons much smaller. Now, so let's move on to the design editor. As you can see, the icons are much more smaller now. I'm going to select the wrapper sidebar. Edit this instance. And the first thing I want to do is change the color of this to a nice dark, dark gray. Social media icons don't really look good here, but it's fine. This is just a demonstration. The, I would usually have them white, but never mind. Okay, the next thing I want to do is fixed. And as you can see now, it's hidden behind the pin board block. So we're going to have to change that by changing the layer index to 1. That basically means it has priority over everything on that page. Now we're going to edit the actual CSS for this. So we're clicking on this box here. It brings up the live CSS editor. And we're going to have a width of 20%. Uh, let's save that. Let's have a look at how it actually looks in the browser. 
as you can see it's not it's fixed but it's not all the way how we want it to be so let's change the height now to 100 percent Okay, that's perfect. Okay, let's have a look back in the browser. Now, as you can see, we do have it how we want it to look, but the content is way behind it. So, how do we get the content to move where we want it to go? Well, it's super easy. Go back to the visual editor and we're going to select all the wrappers so every single wrapper that you make after this should inherit so let me just get rid of the um, box shadow because that drives me nuts uh, press save okay so the box shadow has now gone thank god and What we can do now is add some padding so we change this now to percentage and we can change this to the width of the sidebar which is 20% we're going to change this to 20% so we're giving it a padding of 20% now as you can see the sidebar has also got a padding of 20% we don't want that so we're going to click on the sidebar and we're going to set that padding to what it originally was which was 15 percent okay so that looks much better now let's try and get rid of this margin on the top because you, as you know um, all the wrappers have this margin um, so we need to get rid of that let's just refresh it and see what it looks like now in the browser you can see now the content has been pushed over to the side and everything seems to work very well though I think we can maybe get away with a bit more padding on the side so let me go back into wrapper scroll down go to padding maybe add 21% just a little bit there we go or 22% sorry let's get rid of this margin so it's flushed right to the top and let's press save and refresh and there we have it we have a scrollable website with a fixed sidebar and the great thing about this is every time you add a new wrapper it will now always be 20% away from the left So that's the end of my tutorial, thanks for watching and if you need any additional help please feel free to leave a comment below. If you want to catch more tutorials like this then subscribe to my channel and if you want one on one tutoring you can of course reach me on my website, my rates are affordable and you can of course record our sessions for later playback. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you later, bye!